Currently existing rail metro plinth systems suffer long production and construction timelines and enormous cost for site labor and transportation. This is a consequence of having to cast the entire rail structure on site or location. The problem becomes more evident when we consider track construction in or near tunnels. Problems such as large labor requirements, quality issues, material leading and handling issues have necessitated the invention of better systems. Let's take a look at one such system. The plinth system we will now examine provides an excellent solution to these problems. Its applications can be seen in viaducts, station uprons, high speed rails and tunnels. In the case of station uprons, the base unit and the stump are assembled at predetermined intervals by placing them side by side. The plinth member or slim form which is also precast will be brought in and placed on these stumps. The rail is eventually placed on the plinth member either by embedding it or by fixing it on the members with the help of fasteners. This will enable the load to be transferred from rail to plinth and then to the stump and finally to the base unit and formation below. The viaduct element will have shear connectors that hold the plinth and the rail. Then the level of the plinth is adjusted to required levels in line and finally the stumps are cast in location. The plinth system is well suited for different systems such as embedded, embedded UIC, fastener, DG fastener. The advantages of our system is that it's resilient. Majority is precast with very little site concrete. Only regular resilient fasteners of ballasted tracks are needed in the place of high cost, high resilient fasteners of ballastless tracks. Fastener free or embedment with elastic free material is possible. It has a small cell footprint less time for construction and high quality of track.